Hello everyone. It feels like a very long time since I was actually on camera. <laughs> um, it was maybe nearly 12 hours ago. Um, I am on a bed and I was just joking with the team behind the scenes, maybe I should be lying down. Um, but we are coming towards the end. Um, got two more sessions and I'm going to introduce this one just because it very much um, is very relevant or very linked to the work, um, some of the work we're doing at Joseph Rowntree Foundation with the Emerging Futures Programme. Um, and I guess we, yeah, we we recognise that this is an emerging field and there's a set of growing practices. And there's also many existing practices that just wouldn't necessarily be using some of these labels and names. But we are particularly interested in how do we um, resource and invest in the practice. Um, so we we recently um, commissioned um, three organizations um, to host the community of practice over the next year um, with it, um, with a fund attached to it as well, um, a small fund just for the practitioners to um, connect and share and learn together, which I'm sure you're gonna hear more about. So I, I was just gonna give a bit of context as to what, what is this community of practice and, and just to sort of acknowledge how important this is to um, Joseph Roundtree Foundation's Emerging Futures program. Um, I'm not going to say too much more about Hannah, Katie and Zara's organisations because I'm sure they'll touch on them and they're also in the program. Um, but I feel really lucky that we've got such a brilliant mix of organisations that are going to hold this for the next year. Thank you, Cassie. Um, hello, everyone. Uh, my name's Hannah, and um, I'm one of the directors of Canopy. And um, we just wanted to introduce ourselves first before we talk about what we're planning to do over the next year. And Canopy's concern and interest is really to try and put imagination practice at the heart of all the work we do. And so we call ourselves an imagination partner and we work with systems leaders and communities and other practitioners uh, to work with social imagination or collective imagination. And so for the last five years, we've had quite a lot of um, interesting experience in trying to do that, to uh, persuade people, maybe persuade is the wrong word, accompany people as they let go of the imaginaries that they feel comfortable in and that have resourced them mm -hmm. and that help them feel like they know what they're doing um, and let them go and surrender to the possibility that there are some other imaginaries out there that might serve them much better and might actually get them unstuck uh, in themselves and in their communities and in their systems. So that's a lot of what we're bringing to this. And we've participated in, in the Maya network over the last year um, as we've met online. And that's been such a wonderfully resourcing space for um, encouragement. And we know how important encouragement is in this work. Uh, and we have also developed some frameworks to kind of think about imagination practice and to help to explain it to people and why imagination um, as a concept, as an idea, as a way in to the world of possibility is so important. So again, we'll be bringing those to the table over the year and hopefully they might help some of you or um, be useful in what you do. So that's, um, that's me, Hannah at Canopy. Uh, Zara, I'll um, hand over to you to talk about Huddlecraft. Thanks, Hannah. So hi, everyone, still standing or sitting at this stage in the day to day. I'm Zara. Um, and I'm representing Huddlecraft. So we, perhaps unlike Canopy, are coming from a little outside of the collective imagination space. Although I think our work is very imaginative and, and very collective. So it's really exciting to be um, leaning into this more in this collaboration. I managed to catch the ecological imagination session um, earlier today and I've just come in from being outside feeding the sheep and feeding the chickens and sort of really reflecting on why 
that daily regular practice of um, standing and staring at the sheep feels so good. And I think it's because it, it really calls in a different part of the brain or, or the spirit. Um, and we're going to be really trying to create some spaces for that um, over the over the next year and and really inviting you today to be part of that. And we're going to tell you more. But to just introduce Huddlecraft a little bit more as well. Um, so I've been working on Huddlecraft for the past six years, and we specialize in peer to peer learning, usually within small groups of people that we call huddles. Um, and these small groups of people pull their skills, their resources, their networks, their perspectives in order to develop themselves together. And as an organization, we really exist because in the 21st century, we're facing such huge, steep collective learning curves that are standing in between us now and a more regenerative civilization or future um, where we hope that our children and their children um, can thrive. And so we're really about unearthing more of that um, human potential by learning together. Um, and we work with a range of different movements or purpose-led organizations, green finance, new economy, lots of different spaces, bringing that peer-to-peer -peer learning and the power of that to those spaces. And so um, in this work, really excited to be bringing that to the collective imagination space, which as we've heard about today is, is so important for, for creating that future. Um, and we'll be telling you a bit more about what we'll be doing and how you can get involved in a minute. Hi. Um, as you'll see, I'm actually Karen Lawson and not Katie Rose, although Katie's, Katie is here. Probably had a bit of a heart failure that she was just going to be speaking, but it, it's me. Uh, so I'm Karen Lawson here from the Centre for Public Impact. And I am the uh, co-director for programmes in Scotland, but actually take, we, we all at CPI take a, a kind of, you know, sort of a, an interest in everything that's going on, not just in our particular area. And for those that don't know about CPI, um, we support change makers to reimagine government and public services. So we were so excited to be involved in this project right from the beginning because it fits so much um, to, with our ethos and our ways of working and that sense about working collectively, working differently and supporting people to do that. So it just seemed like such a great fit for us. And some of the work that we're really well, I think underpinning all of our work that we do is about embracing complexity and the, the complex issues that we're all facing um, across countries and across the world. And at the heart of that is valuing relationship. So it's been great to hear about some of the amazing work that's been going on and how we really nurture and support relationships. We also prioritise learning, and that's really important to us is to capture learning and to share that through stories and through individual stories, uh, community stories and stories of government and public services. And the ways that people have tried to think differently and try to think creatively and imaginatively and helping people and just take that kind of step into doing things differently without the fear of worrying about it. it's all got to work well. So our whole emphasis is on about learning and transforming organizations to be learning organizations and learning communities. So we work in India, Australia, North America, Europe, and we have a you know huge networks of people who are you know really trying to do things imaginatively in cities and around things like climate change. So I won't say too much about it, it's all on our website, um, but we're really uh, so pleased to be involved in this. And we'll tell you a bit more about our role uh, shortly. Thanks, Karen. So that's, that's the three of us working together, trying to all bring our particular angles um, and skills to the table. So let's tell you a bit about um, what we're planning. So uh, today, if you've been hanging around on this wonderful uh, conference, you will have heard lots of juicy organic metaphors. And we're going to give you just yet another one, which is that when we were all thinking about this, we were thinking about all of you and all of those that aren't present here at this moment, but are working with imagination, whether they call it that or not. But they are trying to bring 
new ways of being, seeing and doing into our world, we were thinking about them as seeds, thinking about you as seeds, little bundles of potential. And um, some of you are kind of know about each other and uh, sprouting and doing great and other, others might feel quite hidden in the soil. And we were thinking about how this year could really be a space which allows those seeds to swell and sprout and flourish because they're in relationship with one another and they're in a soil which is nurturing one another. So that's the kind of uh, metaphor that we're working with. So let me try to share my screen. Fingers crossed, everybody. Um, this is the right one. There we go. All right, so I'm hoping everyone can see that just fine. Um, so there are some seeds. And let me first just um, take you through the, uh, the sort of the phases that we're going to go through over this year. So at the beginning, um, we're starting now with what we're calling prepare and plant. And that means um, sort of having a launch event and inviting people to join through a mailing list so that you can get involved. It also means starting up some huddles, some focused groups that are gonna go really deep on some important imagination topics. You get to decide what those are, you get to lead them, you'll hear more soon and um, have some like really open sessions that anybody can join and you can invite anyone to where we talk about the things that matter to people working with imagination and, and share imagination practice. Um, and we're also gonna be launching the fund. So there's a fund of a hundred thousand uh, pounds, which will be um, available to, to members of the network to draw on in order to support their connecting with one another, to support little experiments in imagination. And again, today you'll get a chance to help us decide how that fund should be offered to you to do those things. So that's prepare and plant, we're getting ready. And then in the middle of the year, uh, sort of summer going into autumn, we've got grow and flower. These huddles, these focus groups are gonna be meeting and learning together and um, sharing their learning. If you want to contribute to our publication, you're very welcome to do that. Um, and again, you know, the, the fund might help you um, have a bit of time to, to put something together for a publication. And then at the end, we are gonna be um, uh, harvesting and uh, swapping seeds and having a celebration. So that's sort of big overview. And we're gonna just take you through those components in a little bit more detail. They're still stay taking shape and we'll have some time together in this session mm. to, um, to, 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 for you to contribute some ideas to that shape. All right, so we're calling this the seed swap. And these will be regular sort of meetups online. And we want to make these really accessible. So we want to be reaching beyond the community we already know. Um, there are so many folks that are doing imagination work and change work that don't necessarily use this kind of terminology, but we want them in the conversation. Of course we do. So we want these to be um, really accessible open meetings. Anyone can come and we'll have a series of events which we hope are engaging and um, worth showing up for. So help us figure out what we want those to be about. Zara, tell us about huddles. Yes, thank you. So continuing the metaphor with the seeds, we then we really wanted to think about how we could complement breadth in what we're doing with the community of practice this year with depth as well. So we are going to be supporting six to eight huddles. Um, and these are the seed containers, the containers within which you can plant yourself as a seed, yourself and your imagination practice, and alongside others, you can grow yourself and that practice. 
And as Hannah mentioned, this is going to be up to you what these groups are going to focus on. Um, and it's also going to be up to you to propose things like whether your um, group should be online or whether it should be face to face and local, as someone in the chat was um, suggesting just before we started the session. And so what huddles really are is a group of people who come together around a shared interest or a, a center of gravity which they want to explore together. Um, and in the case of this year, they're probably going to run over three to four months. And so what's really special about this is that you will have a group of maybe maximum of 12 people who will be exploring a theme within imagination practice, which you want to get into in more depth. And so you'll see the same people again and again, develop those relationships, but also have a chance to really push at the edges of your learning, push at the edges of your practices, really collaborate and, and really create something together. And the way this works is that we are going to run some host training. And if you'd like to propose the topic for a huddle and potentially act as host, so a guide or facilitator for, for the group, then you'll be able to participate in this training and then convene a group of people after that. So there's twice opportunities to, to get involved in huddles once as hosts and then more opportunities when those hosts have done their training as well. So next slide, please, Hannah. And so then we've got the fund, which we've already mentioned, and I think it's really important to link this to the huddles as well. If you are listening now and thinking, Mm, I've got an area question an edge within imagination practice I could host a huddle you will be able to draw on this fund to make that possible for you to make that commitment um, and likewise to participate um, you may also be able to draw on the fund to support you to do that and we're also going to be supporting lots of other modes of learning as well um, and we're going to be responsive to what you feel you need and what you tell us you need as well. Um, but we're really interested in practice experiments, practitioner exchanges, documentation and writing um, and, and storytelling um, all about imagination practice as well. And we're going to be distributing this fund using a platform called Open Collective, which is a transparent budgeting tool, which is really exciting because it allows collectives of people to participate in the distribution of, of funds and money. Um, and so we're going to be developing over the coming few weeks a clearer sense of how we intend to work with Open Collective and work with the fund. And then we'll be running uh, an initiation session that you'll be invited to and you'll be able to shape um, the, the idea for how we will work with the fund as well. So we'll be inviting you to that. Next, please, thank you. And then a little bit more on our idea for the celebration at the end or sort of where we're, where we're headed, where we want to get to in a year's time. And, and with the metaphor of seeds, we love the idea of seed libraries and we, we love the visual language of rows and rows of packets of seeds displayed in a garden centre and how colourful and, and visual that is. Um, and so in some way or another, we will be working together to draw together the various reflections, documentations, practices, experiments, and to present those in a way that they can be easily shared um, and the seeds can be easily scattered. Um, and we will be bringing the community back together to also celebrate our progress, celebrate what we've done um, and celebrate what has been done within the huddles as well. So uh, thanks, uh, Zara. So um, we've got a couple of roles really at CPI uh, to support this work. And in one of them is about our international community. And as I said earlier, we're very much an, uh, an international organization and we're hoping to find and connect um, all the imaginative workers, uh, people that are practitioners 
um, and connect them up with the networks, but also find out people who are doing amazing stuff and bring that to light. So there's a sense of supporting this international community. And also we have quite a role, and my, my colleague Aurora, who can't be here uh, today, will be taking a real lead on this storytelling. And that's really a thing that's very important to us, as I said earlier, at CPI is, is the storytelling aspect. So helping the different huddles tell their story, draw that out, create it, but also look at what's emerging from that. What is it that we're finding out from all the different stories and looking at the themes around these and hoping to sort of harvest them, keeping with the, <laughs> the ideas there, but really harvesting the kind of the stories and the seeds and sharing them, scattering them and uh, getting the word out there really. And finding a home for it so that's kind of our role but that will emerge more as we get into the work and we work with people and find out what's really needed and I think that's probably the same for all of us that these are the kind of uh, roots of the, the ideas so here are um some important dates just to uh to get you started so i suppose there's a sense in which this is a bit of a sneak preview because our main uh sort of launch event is going to be on wednesday the 12th of april um and then following that also the host training for the huddles that emerge from that launch event um so we everybody who wants to come to the launch event is there is, is invited um, so if you sign up to our mailing list we'll definitely send you an invite for that and we'll be putting invites out via twitter and we'll ask jrf to retweet that and all that sort of thing so keep keep an eye out for that um sign up for that event and then you know there'll be um regular online meetings as we've already said and then the huddles will get started and the rest will flow from there but as I say, this is sort of a little bit of a sneak preview that you're you're getting today. Um, and we'll be giving you the link to sign up to the network. OK, so I'm going to I think that's all the slides. Oh, yes. No, this is good. Um, here we have um, a document that you can access. It's a medium post which sort of tells you all of this again, if you want to go over it when um, you're a bit perkier in the morning, perhaps. Um, and and it's but it's basically a repeat of, of what we've said here with a bit more detail written down. 